Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using slope deflection method. Before analyzing, let us see the beam one time. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. In the span AB, there is a point load 20 kN acting in the center. In the span BC, there is uniformly distributed load 9.6 kN per meter acting for the full span. In the support B, we have a coupled movement 24 kN meter. It is acting in the clockwise direction. Length of AB is 4 meter. Length of BC is 5 meter. In the point A, we have a fixed support. In the points B and C, we have hinged supports. Now, let us find the fixed end movements. First, let us find them in the span AB. In the span AB, there is a point load 20 kN acting in the center. The formulas to find the fixed end movements are minus WL upon 8 and positive WL upon 8. Here W is 20, L is 4. When we apply the values inside the formulas, we are getting M of AB and M of BA. Now let us find the fixed end movements in the span BC. In the span BC, there is uniformly distributed load 9.6 kN per meter. It is acting for the full span. The formulas to find the fixed end movements are minus WL square upon 12 and positive WL square upon 12. Here W is 9.6 and L is 5. When we apply the values inside the formulas, we are getting M of BC and M of CB. Now let us make the slope deflection equations. First, let us make them in the span AB. In the equations, first let us apply the fixed end movements. Length of AB is 4 meter. Let us apply that. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. So, theta A will be 0. Finally, in the span AB, we have made two equations. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations in the span BC. In the equations, first let us apply the fixed end movements. Length of BC is 5 meter. Let us apply that. The point C is a simply supported end. In the simply supported end, there will be no movement. So, MCB is 0. Let us take 20 on the left side. So, it will come as negative. This is our first equilibrium equation. Finally, in the span BC, we have made two equations. Now, let us make the joint equilibrium equation. In the joint B, there are two movements, MBA and MBC. The summation of these two movements should be equal to the couple 24 kN meter. So, MBA plus MBC is equal to 24. Since the couple is acting in the clockwise direction, we have to apply 24 as positive. Let us apply the expressions for MBA and MBC from the slope deflection equations. Let us add the values. When we add, we will get these. We have to always keep the numerical on the right side. Let us keep this equation as number 5. Let us take your calculator, solve the equations 4 and 5 
If you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and solved these two equations, getting the values of Ea theta b and Ea theta c. Let us find the final moments. When we apply the value of Ea theta b in the equation number 1, we are getting Mab. When we apply the value of Ea theta b in the equation number 2, we are getting Mba. And finally, when we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea theta c in the equation number 3, we are getting Mbc. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the moments. Now, let us find the vertical reactions. First, let us find them in the span AB. When we take moment about B, we are getting RA. By applying this rule, we are getting RB1. Now, let us find the reactions in the span BC. When we take moment about C, we are getting RB2. When we apply this rule, we are getting RC. Let us add RB1 and RB2 so that we will get RB. Here I have drawn the shear force diagram. Using these formulas, we can draw the free movement diagram. Using the direction of the movements, we can draw the end movement diagram. After combining both of the diagrams, we will get the bending movement diagram.